Speak Student. How power plants work, a la Shmo. We've all seen Homer Simpson shuffle off to work at the Springfield power plant. Joe. And of course, he usually bumbles one thing or another, setting off an alarm and endangering the lives of a number of Springtonians. But are power plants really that dangerous? Or does Homer just make them look that way? Okay, well first off, Homer works at a nuclear power plant. Those are a bit scary, yeah, maybe. Although even nuclear power plants are much safer than most people think and rarely result in the death, disfigurement, or dismemberment of local citizens. Uh, unless this guy is at the helm. Or this guy. Chernobyl. <coughs> So if most power plants aren't those giant cylindrical structures with the atomic symbols on them, what do they look like? Well, have you ever passed by one of those uh, fields of giant pinwheels? Uh, these pinwheels? They're not just there for decoration or to curb the area's pigeon population, well, which we do appreciate. They're wind turbines and they're there to produce energy. They didn't always look that way, however. The AC generating power plants, engineered by Nikola Tesla a hundred years ago, and that's who the car company is named after, by the way. Yeah, these, they're awesome. Hi, hi, Elon. They were the early versions of our modern plants, and they look like this. Not the greatest for those who are trying to cut down on secondhand smoke. Try Marlboro, they're great. <laughs> Well, first, a ton of heat is produced, like enough to make the devil perspire. Man, it's hotter than hell down here. The heat is created by burning coal, natural gas, or oil, or by splitting a few atoms. Uh, these atoms. The heat is then used to boil water and to make steam. So, yeah, it's kind of a giant underground tea kettle. Earl Grey, anyone? Herbal? The steam turns a turbine which moves a huge coil of wires around a magnetized center, and boom, we've got electricity. Of course, that electricity doesn't do us any good <gasps> unless we can access it. So as the final step in the process, the electricity is sent through a giant transformer, not the walking big rig kind, which bumps up the voltage before sending it out to the world. Thousands of degrees of heat, turbines the size of tall buildings, hundreds of miles of electric lines, all so you can play World of Warcraft for five hours straight. <laughs> you might want to send science a thank you card. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.